I'm going to show you how some color theory information, all right? And I'm using some watercolors in this watercolor paper here. I'm going to start with monochromatic color. Mono meaning one. So if we use red as our base color, we simply say that we're at monochromatic. We're using black to darken it. Or white to lighten it. That's it. That's monochromatic color use, okay? So it could be blue with black and white, it could be yellow with black and white, green, any kind of color. That's monochromatic. The three primaries are red, blue, I'm going to use this basic ultramarine blue here, and a basic yellow, okay? These colors are the base colors from which all other colors are come from, okay? There's red, blue, and yellow. All right. Now, those are the three primaries. From those, we get the secondary colors. So, we add if we add yellow and blue together, we get green. Let's put a little bit more blue in there so you can see it. Okay? We get a nice green color here. You add a little more yellow. See how that works? Okay? If we add yellow and red together, we get an orange. Okay? You see the orange being made there? That's the second secondary. So there's green, orange, and last but not least, let's see how this red works here. Oh, that's pretty good. If you mix red and blue together, you get kind of a purple. Okay? Those are the three secondaries. Orange, green, and purple. All right? There are also things we call complementary colors in color theory. And in complements are paired together. There are three sets of complementary colors. Yellow and purple. They are on opposite ends of the they're on the opposite sides of each other of the color wheel. So they work together like frenemies. You can mix them together and they tend to dull each other out. They can make each other vibrate. They can make them, see how they work together nicely? They had a nice little color, color use that is a little bit more sophisticated than just adding black and white to color, okay, which tends to deaden it. This is one set of complements, yellow and purple. The next one is blue and orange. Let's get a proper orange here. See how those work together and can can create each other, can work against each other, but they can also vibrate. So orange and blue. That's the second group. Okay? The last set, use a little premixed green here, this Viridian. The last set of complementary colors is red and green. See how they work together here? That's the last set of complementary colors. You see how they can blend together? And they just tend to have a little bit more lively look than these monochromatic colors, which tend to look kind of tonal and sort of a little bit flat. Okay? So that, there's also color temperature. What do you think of when you think of warm colors or colors that have warmth through them? We think of reds and yellows and oranges. Okay? They tend to come forward and cooler colors when you think of cool colors you think of blues and greens and purples anything in the blue family okay those tend to recede in space okay these tend to pop forward these tend to recede that's color temperature don't forget too that color also has certain cultural and, and personality uh, aspects that people relate to them when you feel blue you feel sad in some countries, white is for weddings. In other countries, it's for funerals. And we all, of course, have our own personal feelings about what colors we like, just generally tend to gravitate towards, okay? That's it on color theory. Thank you very much.